Hey everyone and welcome back. So in the previous video we have learned how to finish our main repository. Now it's time to use it inside our main service. If you remember inside our handle setup views, uh, we said we have to initialize our widget to start streaming for our video and audio sources. But to do that we need to store our local view and remote view inside our main service to do that I'll write local surface view of type surface view renderer and it's going to be null initially and also remote surface view and let's go back to our call activity before we start our setup view we should set those references main service dot remote view is equal to a remote view and same goes for local surface view so inside our main service we do have our surface view renderer after we call the handle set of views through this intent okay so right here we want to use our main repository and init local surface view and pass local surface view to it and then as the video call you simply pass is video call and since we know it should not be null we assert it as not null so we realize if our view is not ready we should get a crash we do the same thing for remote view in its remote surface view and pass remote surface view and pass and assert that as not null again and here we will start the call if it's a callie so when we join this activity and set the surface view renderers and send a command to our main service that hey start setting up the views we will initialize our surface view renderers as you can see local surface view renderer calls the init local surface view inside our web artist client and here we will start initializing our surface views and start local streaming and before I forget let's go back to our handle start service we should initialize our web RTC client right here so using main repository dot init web RTC client and pass username to it and we know it's not null so if I run my application right now I'll face an issue because inside my main repository I didn't do anything when I get a media stream while I am initializing my peer connection like this on that stream so if I hold a reference of my remote view of type surface view renderer and when we are initializing our remote view this dot remote view is equal to this view and whenever a media stream is added to our peer connection this function will be fired and simply we can use p1 dot video tracks and get element of zero and add sync to our remote view like this but we have to wrap it inside a try catch block since if you get just an audio track this will throw an exception and we want to just print the stack trace so before running our application we should handle our scenarios when there is a new event coming from our firebase client it means that we are receiving a new event from our socket or firebase client we should handle it so the types that we are going to handle is offer answer ice candidate and end call so if someone tries to start a call and send us an offer we should use the web RTC client and on remote session received and create a session description object of type session description type offer and the stp is going to be events dot data to a stream and after that we wanna use web artist client and answer it that targets we know is not now and when we receive an answer it means that 
we are offering them a call and we are now receiving an answer so all we need to do is we have to call on remote session received and create a new session description of type answer and the SCP is going to be events dot data to string and whenever we receive a noise candidate first we want to deserialize it back to our noise candidate so we want to try to deserialize it like this json i haven't injected it here private val well, json json from json and pass events dot data to a string and the data model is going to be ice candidates candidates class.java and then we check if it's not null simply we want to add it to our peer connection add ice candidates and pass it to it in case of receiving an end call we simply want to call end call function inside our listener which I'll create in a second like this and whoever implements this will have to implement the other function just like that so if I run it on my two emulators again and open the Firebase database at the same time let's see what's going on here I'll log in as master that one client and Mitch as the second client you'll see stuff is being changed if I try to call Mitch you'll see he will have an start video call and if it joins the STP and ice candidate is being transferred and the data and the video will be streaming and you can see the latest event is removed so in the next video we will try to use this toggle microphone and video buttons and same as switch camera and after that we will start screen sharing so that's it for this video till the next video see you everyone